Hello, today we will talk about how to use integration by parts to solve integral problems. Integration by parts is used when two functions are multiplied together in the integral. Here is the strategy to solve them. First, we pick a u. This is governed by lipids. So, logarithms, inverse functions, polynomials, exponentials, and trigonometric functions. Then, the dv is just the remaining part of the integral. So then we differentiate u to get du. Then we integrate dv. In order to get v. Finally, we use the formula u times v minus the integral of v times du and then to simplify so now let's try an example let's try the integral of x cosine 5x dx since polynomials come before trigonometric functions and lipids we choose our u to be equal to x and our dv is just the remaining part in the integral that would be cosine 5x dx we differentiate here, du is equal to dx. We integrate here, v is equal to sine of 5x divided by 5. And then we use the formula u times v minus the integral of v times du. So we get x sine 5x over 5 minus the integral of sine of 5x over 5 times dx. So let's evaluate the integral. So x sine 5x over 5 minus minus cosine 5x divided by 25. This becomes a positive. And the final answer is x sine 5x over 5 plus cosine 5x over 25. So now let's try a little harder example. Let's do the integral of cosine of x ln of sine of x dx. Since logarithmic functions come before trigonometric functions and lipids, we choose our u as equal to L of it, ln of sine of x and our dv is just the remaining part of the integral, so dv is equal to cosine of x dx. So we differentiate here, so du is equal to cosine of x over sine of x dx, and we integrate here, so v is equal to sine of x. So now we use the formula u times v minus the integral of v times du. So u is ln sine of x times v sine of x minus the integral sine of x times cosine of x over sine of x dx. Well here this cancels so we get ln sine x times sine x minus the integral of cosine x dx. So now this is very easy ln sine x sine x minus sine of x and that's our final answer. So now let's try evaluating definite integrals using integration by parts. So let's try the integral from 1 to 3 of r cubed ln of r dr. 
So logarithms come before polynomials in lipids, so u should be set equal to ln of r. Our dv is just the remaining part of the integral, so it's r cubed dr. We differentiate here, so du is equal to 1 over r dr. We integrate here, so v is equal to r to the fourth divided by 4. So now we use the formula u times v minus the integral of v times du. So ln of r times r to the fourth divided by 4 minus integral of r to the fourth divided by 4 times 1 over r dr. So now we will simplify and evaluate the integral. So we get ln of r, r to the fourth divided by 4 minus integral of r cubed over 4 dr. So let's evaluate the integral now. So we get minus r to the fourth divided by 16. So now we just evaluate this from r equals 1 to r equals 3. So we get ln of 3 times 81 over 4 minus 81 over 16 minus ln of 1 is 0, so this becomes 0, minus 1 over 16. This becomes a positive. So we get ln of 3 times 81 over 4 minus 80 over 16, which can be simplified to this, minus 5.